Okay. Uh, let's Blake your at. Let's um. Let's play some more Zord of Vermilion. It's gonna be a kind of a problem. I'm doing this in the morning, uh, because uh, because I don't um, it's like in the middle of summer and it's very hot. And if I do it later on, I'm gonna have to have my um. Oh man, I could be playing Super Thunder Blade right now. Uh, I could have my air conditioning on. I have to have my air conditioning on because my house is very uh, it gets very hot and uh, my air conditioner makes a lot of noise and it probably wouldn't make. Watching my audio recording very enjoyable if in the background you kept hearing. Okay, let's continue. I have absolutely no idea what I was doing in this game, but I seem to recall that um, that my biggest hitch is that I don't have enough levels to get to the next town. So I might just end up uh, going out to the wilderness and. Uh, oh, good, the music. Going out and exploring. Um, let's see. I have the silver sword, uh, the platinum shield. I also have a magic shield that I'm holding on because I can't. I don't know if it's actually beneficial to me or not. It might be. Um, I do want to set my message speed to fast, which is something you have to do every time. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and. Um, oh, wait. One thing I want to do is let's check my stats. By the way, why does the stats page um, STR? Let's figure that one out. Wow. Uh, did I have that many pages before? <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so I have, uh, I'm about 7,000 away from, uh, getting my experience level. If you hear slurping, I apologize because I am, uh, drinking coffee. Like I said, it's in the morning, and I'm still coughing it up. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's get out of town. Let's go ahead and get 7,000 experience. Um... I can remember how this weird ass 3D view works. I do remember I need to go to the east, I believe. Is my next. Oh, right. And I also remember that you also get instantly poisoned if you leave your. Um. I bet I already got poisoned. Wow, uh, lightning bolts do not kill these guys. Well, especially if I miss. I thought the lightning bolts were like a one-hit kill on almost everything in this game, but uh... <clears throat> let's do a three-hit kill on these guys. Okay, did I get poisoned? Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. Oh, no, I did. Never mind. Okay, um, how much experience did that give me? It gave me about a thousand. Let's go ahead and let's keep adventuring. I have a healing spell I can use. Oh, hey, it's the same scorpions again. This time I'm just going to use my sword since I'm already poisoned. What the hell, you know? I like how the, uh, I've probably said all this stuff before. Uh, I like how the enemies disappear in, like, a puff of magic smoke. It's like they're doing a magic trick. That's great. Let me, uh, drink a bit of coffee here. <clears throat> now, the good news is, um, we do not lose experience if we have to respawn. <clears throat> God damn, I'm phlegmy this morning. I, this is going to be a terrible stream. Because you're going to have to listen to my phlegminess, and I apologize in advance. This is the morning, and... Damn it. Oh, those guys, well, they don't do a lot of damage to me. Let's go up to this dead end, see if there's anything here. I'm almost at my level up uh, by now. I'm probably uh, not terribly far away. I'm getting hit by everything, of course, naturally. And I am remembering that the combat system in this game is bad in many, many reasons. Many, many ways. But I'm also only a little bit away from town, and I have healing spells, and I have 76 MPs, so not too worried about that. Um, after I get this level, maybe I'll try making it to the next town again. I'll have a few more, um, a few more hit points, then I might be able to make it. Oh, excuse me, I'm Flemmy again. Yeah, this is why I don't do uh, public speaking in the morning. 
500 bucks. I don't need money, really, but good. Oh, these are the ones that just... I, never, I remember these guys. They just teleport to different locations. And their attack is basically they might teleport on top of you and there's absolutely nothing you can do to dodge or avoid it in any way. It's really the most fair enemy that anyone has ever imagined in a video game. Come on, where's my level up? Oh, I have 72, 8, 6, 4. I need 77. Oh, I really hate scorpions. I wonder if scorpions appear because of the um, the columns. You know those rock. Ah, ah! God damn my throat. Those rock columns on the on the exterior map. I wonder if that's like scorpions are hanging out here because this is a desert area. Even though once I'm in combat, it's kind of like a temple brick floor thing. I don't know if that's because they. Um, they didn't think it through, or because combat just always has the same background because they only had some. Oh, come on! More scorpions? These guys are pissing me off. Eight of them. Well, at least they give me experience. They're taking a lot of my health, though, because I'm bad at video games. Come on! Why is my hitbox not hitting him there? This is ludicrous. Maybe I should lightning bolt these guys, too. I mean, their movement is spastic as hell, but that's kind of a challenge. What bothers me more is their hitbox is spastic as hell, and that makes it, like, impossible to figure out where you're supposed to swing your goddamn sword. I don't care about their movement. That was one of those fights that went on long enough that we almost heard the rest of the battle music, but no, we didn't. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat. It's seriously full of phlegm right now. I shouldn't be recording. This is a terrible idea, but I have had multiple people say, hey, you should continue playing Sword of Vermilion. I don't know why it's not that great a game. I think there's a lot of nostalgia factor here. And I have to admit, I'm, I'm a little bit curious to see the ending, even though I know it's going to be hugely disappointing, like a static black screen with white text saying, you win all, or something. But uh, we'll keep playing until then. I was going to complain about scorpions, but hey, experience is experience, right? probably sounds fucking terrible. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to start using the mute. Okay. Oh, there's nothing on this dead end. Not a treasure chest or anything. Well, there's an enemy, I guess, but... One of the things that kind of bugs me about this game is that when enemies... Enemies can appear, like, when you're walking, but they also appear when you're just turning in place, and I don't know if that's fair. Okay. Uh, ah! And when the scorpions appear, they always have a full party of eight. Have you noticed that? I don't, I don't even care if they hit me anymore. I'm just gonna freaking sorting them as fast as I can. This is literally as fast as I can. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna continue doing that because I'm gonna hit a lot. But um. Do you think someone at Sega, like, looked at all these random encounters and said, Oh man, we don't have enough random encounters in this game. We need to make more of them. It's just not fun unless you have random encounters every 14 milliseconds. Okay, let's, um... Let's magic. Uh, Sangwa was my healing spell. You have to kind of memorize what the spells are, of course. Let's do another Sangwa here. Luckily, it doesn't take a lot of mana, so, um... I can actually heal quite a bit. Good. I probably should check my items, too. I don't want to use an item. I just want to see what I have here. I have a gnome stone, which I still don't know what it does. Two lanterns and a medicine. Okay. Let's 
go down that uh, lower path. Unless I level up with this enemy, in which case I'm just gonna go back to town. Ah! Let's take two hits with the sword or one hit with the Volti. Uh, not quite. I have 200 points away from leveling up. So this is the rare case where I actually want a random encounter. Oh, good, it's scorpions. Why wouldn't it be scorpions? Of course it's scorpions. Only two of them, though. Where are all your buddies, guys? Come on. I'm really shocked they didn't spend more time on this combat screen and perfecting it, considering how much time you spend on it in the game. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, I'm poisoned still, but... Look, I got more HPs. Um, good. That also entirely heals me, except the poison. It does not heal the poison. Okay, let's get some money. Now, let's go back to town, uh, do all our saving and shite, and then uh, we'll start heading towards the... Oh, good brain, guys. Uh, we'll start heading towards the next city. I'm going back to town anyway, so I'm just lazy. I'm going to lazy these guys to death. Volta them. I should have vaulted those guys. They did a lot of damage to me because I'm bad at games. Um, okay. Almost back to town. Every single action in this game takes a billion years because of the way that random encounters work. And the risk you have is you forget where the hell you were going <laughs> while you're getting random encountered. It's a pretty big risk. I seem to recall last time I almost made it, like I was a hair's breadth from, uh, from oh hey this thing, uh, from making it to the enemy town. But the problem is I also remember there were two paths that forked and I took the wrong one initially. And so I might take the wrong one this time and I'm not sure. Let's, oh I don't want the inn yet, I want to cure my poison first, where's the church? Uh, this emulator, this is the official Sega emulator, by the way. This emulator does not 100% center your cursor correctly, so... Yeah, curing poison is cheap for some reason. I have like 6,000 bucks. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the town so you can hear the great music and then take a quick little break to refill my coffee cup so I'm not as phlegmy. Uh, hopefully that's over, but you know, I have to I have to lubricate my throat when I wake up. This is very disgusting and I shouldn't be talking about it because it's not funny at all, but um, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so my advice to you is if you're streaming, and if you are a person who is really phlegmy in the morning, like me, um, learn where the mute button is on your headset and use it religiously. I don't do that because I'm a jerk, and I like for you guys to hear horrible things. Um, but if I had done that, you wouldn't have heard so much uh, horrible uh, throat clearing earlier. Okay, um, all healed up, no poison. Good to go. Now, I know that I need to go, like, northeast to the next town, but the problem is there's a branching path, like, at the very beginning. Just to the right of this town, there's this branching path. I don't know if I take the upper or the lower. Let's try the upper. Oh, you know what? I should have bought a cure poison thing. Damn it. Okay. 
See if I can get past all these. Oh, I got hit once. That means I'm probably poisoned. God damn it. I was like, I think if I can kill all these guys without getting hit, I can get away without getting poisoned. But it looks like that's not going to be the case. Let's see. Maybe the poison's a random chance and not just a 100% thing. No, I was poisoned. God damn it. This is what, what was pissing me off. Um, like, the first enemy when you leave the town poisons you instantly. And, um... Yeah, I know. I'm wasting your time. Sorry. Um, and, like, from then on... But all the other screens... Like, once you're past the screen, you never see a poison enemy again. So it's like... I don't know. It's just shitty. Luckily, I have money up the ass. And I've already fully upgraded weapon-wise, so I don't have anything to buy. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to... Go to the church and cure my poison. Then I'm going to the supply store. And I'm going to buy the poison balm, the cure poison item. And I'm going to get past this first screen. And once I'm on the second screen... Actually, I'll buy two of the poison balms just in case. Um, since I think I have enough inventory slots. The church only charges you eight games, by the way. I think if you buy it, it's like 60. But whatever. Um... Once I get past the first screen, I think I won't get hit by any poison enemies again, and I should be good. Now, the other thing about this whole thing is that poison only does, like, one hit point per move, and you have, like, 430 hit points at this point in the game. So it really isn't horribly horrible, but it's very annoying. And it does just kind of eke away at you, you know? Uh, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to buy more medicine, too. And I said, yeah, 60. Hey, uh, somehow I remembered what uh, poison costs. Or poison balm costs. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. Let's buy another medicine. And let's buy medicine until I'm out of, uh, out of inventory slots. Which I think is now. Yeah, okay, there we go. It is. Okay. Okay. Now, because I'm really a jerk, I'm actually going to uh, go back to church and save before I leave again. Haha, <laughs> suckas. You have to watch me save. Oh, you know, the other thing I remember about what I was doing is you have to go to the east, and he says there's a cave you passed on your way there, but you should visit the town before you go into the cave. I remember that specifically. Okay, so let's make another attempt at this. I'm still going to try the northern path, because I only got about three steps down it before that scorpion kind of fucked me over. How much, uh, while I'm here, how much experience do I need? Oh, an even, uh, 100,000. Okay. It's going to take a while, but, uh, the further east I go, the more dangerous the bad guys are, and, you know, therefore the more experience they give. I like, my guy on the minimap seems to look entire, oh, hey, look, no scorpions. He seems to look entirely different than, uh, than my guy in, like, the spray, doesn't he? What the hell? What was that, game? How did that even happen? It just, it just stole 130 hit points from me with that bullshit. Fuck you, game. It basically stun-locked me. When you get hit by an opponent, it just bounces you back a little bit, and it basically stun-locked me for, like, 100 and... 120 hit points. Oh, fuck these guys. I know I should be conserving my mana, but you know what? Look at how much damage these guys are doing. This is ludicrous. I don't even care that I just shot them all. Okay, let's, um... I, I haven't even gotten off the first screen. And I'm already ready to cast my healing spell. Unbelievable. Well, you know what? I actually might have preferred the scorpions. I might have been better off with the scorpions. Okay, I think Sangoa takes, what, four or six, six spell points. So keep that in mind. Okay, I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I seem to remember passing through the, that room with six bushes at the bottom there before. I don't remember if that was the right way to go, but there was a guy in the middle who's like, hey, are you going to that town? Well, let's head north. Okay, now we have another split, so we can go north again, or we can go 
east. Let's go east. Oh, uh, there's my scorpion friends. Yay. I was missing you guys. Go ahead and poison me. Actually, let's make an attempt to not get poisoned. Since it only takes two lightning bolts to kill them, and lightning points lightning bolts are relatively cheap to cast. Um Oh good, no poison. Oh! Okay, well that was a waste of my time. I'm gonna get poisoned this time for sure. I might as well not even Yeah, okay. Let's not even bother with the lightning bolts. Um it's just a waste of mana. Come on. The random encounters in this game kind of just... It's, it almost seems like the game has... Uh, it's not just random. It's like it knows what, what enemy would most annoy you at any given moment and does that one. Like, oh, hey, he just survived an encounter with two uh, scorpions without getting poisoned. And then the game's like, well, we can't allow that. Give him eight scorpions or however many were on that screen. And then it's like, well, he got eight scorpions. He got poisoned a little bit to the little health damage. So it's like, okay, now give him the two poison, the two scorpions again, the ones he could have easily dodged now that he's already poisoned. Do that. That's how the game's playing. Um, I don't... Can I... Maybe I'm missing something in this game. Maybe I can't hit them in the, in the face at all. And maybe that's my big problem with these scorpions. Like, these guys just die instantly. They do a decent amount of the damage, but... But maybe one, the problem I have with the scorpions is I'm only doing damage when I hit him in the tail. I don't know. I never read the manual to this game, by the way, so... I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, hey. Oh, am I going backwards to the last town? Wait. Is this a town I've already been to? I think I'm going backwards this whole time. Great. I gotta kill wizards up the wizzo. The wizu. The wazu. Yeah, um, that would explain why I was getting all those scorpions, because I was going back towards the last town where it's Scorpion Central. Oh, hey, we get to see our, our eyeball friends. Yay. Eyeballs are easy to kill, but if, if they spawn in the middle of you, like that, or if I spawn in the middle of them, there's not much I can do. Where the hell is this? Great. Um, well, that's an inn. Good. Is this the town where everyone was old and I made them young? I think that's what this is. Let's cure my poison. This is annoying. I just backtrack, you know that? So I have to go back to exactly where I came from. Yeah, this is definitely the older town. So I went the wrong way. Um, yeah, I might as well go ahead and save. I'll go ahead and save my mistakes. I'm not gonna just, you know, not save. It's only fair, right? I'll play the game like uh, like if I actually was playing on a physical Genesis. I am keeping a copy of save states, but that's just for backup purposes in case the save fails for whatever reason. Boyo yon! Okay. Yo yawn, guys. I'm actually glad I didn't use my poison ball. Now I know not to use it on the way back down, too. Oh, god damn it. The way that map works. If I hold down to enter the map screen, I shouldn't have to then press up to move on the map, game. That's stupid. It's like the 180 degree rule in filmmaking, except for people who made this game probably never heard of that. Also, this is like wizard land here. What the hell? All wizards all the time. Oh, these guys again. Well, you know what? My mana is restored. I might just uh, nuke them. Still get hit. Oh, hey, I hit that guy with a diagonal. I'm lucky. I mean, literally lucky, since the hitbox detection is so stupid in this game. Again, come on. Let's do a lot of damage. Cripes! 
The random encounters kill this game. This might be a fun game if the random encounters were not just so numerous. It's ludicrous. Guys, just reduce the random encounters by a third and increase experience by a third. There, I just fixed your game design. It's all you need to do. Players end up getting the same amount of experience, but they don't have to walk through this bullshit. And I'm poisoned again, of course. Why won't these scorpions die? Oh, maybe because I was hitting two at once. Maybe I was only doing half damage to them. Or out of the two, my sword was hitting only one actually took the damage. I know, I'm poisoned. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> that was a nice setup. Those wizards are like, hey, uh, did that friendly guy uh, get here yet? And I'm standing right behind him. And they're like, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I saw him. Okay, well, I did explicitly start this uh, video by saying I was going to grind a bit. So let's just consider this grinding and not me going the wrong way. Um, that's the verdict here. That's what happens. Who's this guy? Do you know if this is the way to deep down? No. That must have been uh, from the first time I was coming to this town. Those guys just stay on the map forever. Uh, even after you found Deepdale, they'll know how to get there again. But, you know, whatever. It's a Genesis. It's not like it could save uh, a million uh, a million kilobytes of save data for each game or anything. Come on, Scorpions. Come on. Scorpions are not even fun to kill. What other uh, horrible mechanics could they added to this game instead of just uh, massive quantities of random encounters? How about how about you have to repair your armors and weapons, and they wear out really fucking quick, like Far Cry 2. And so you basically only survive one battle without using repair kits or whatever. How about that? That would have been an obnoxious mechanic. How about um, making the stores have different currencies, so you actually have to get your money exchanged in every town. So every town you have to find a guy who exchanges your money. You know like they did in uh, Quest for Glory 2. Remember that? Yeah, why don't we do that in this game? That would be really irritating and annoying. What are a horrible annoying thing could they do? Um, how about they have monsters that uh, reverse your controls? So when you hit up, you go down, and when you hit down, you go up. That's always fun. Everyone loves those, right? How about they have um, an NPC that turns into a monster that's really hard to defeat, but it looks identical to all the other NPCs. You have no way of knowing which one it is. I don't know. They actually probably will do that later on. It's probably just luck I haven't encountered that yet. Okay. Sorry, I'm still slurping my coffee here. I think the flemminess is mostly over, though. Okay, luckily I have not used any of my poison bombs, so even though I went the wrong direction, I'm not any worse off than I was before. It just took time. Like, what, 10 minutes or whatever. Um, so my plan remains the same, but this time do not go north. Go east first, and then north. Oh, it wasn't the very first enemy. It was not, um, it must have been an oversight in the game engine. It was not poisoned, uh... Poison scorpions. I wonder if other enemies have poison. Maybe we get like super scorpions later on or something. I don't know. Watch scorpions now. No, now. No, scorpions now. Yes, I guessed it. Okay. Not not that it was a difficult guess. Oh, only two of them. Um. Oh well, that was stupid. I don't know why I even tried to do that. I should just take the poison and just... It's only 60 goddamn gold to cure the poison. They hardly... Other than poison, they hardly do any damage. I know I'm poison. Shut up, game. Um, other than the poison, they hardly do any damage to you, so... These guys are a lot more dangerous, actually. Or... I don't know. Are they guys or women? Are those boobs? I don't know. The pecs are boobs. Someone tell me. I don't know the answer to this question. Okay, brains. Oh, these brains. Oh, crap. I remember these guys. 
They're very hard to dodge. Especially when they catch you by surprise, like they just did. Okay, so now the guy in the middle of the forest here... There he is. He says, um, are you trying to get to whatever? Oh, Stowe. Okay, Stowe. So now, the... I think this is the place where I want to go north. I think this is the problem I had before. Is that I definitely want to go north eventually. But, uh, I was doing it too early. Like, instead of going directly north from that town. And this is deceptive of the game. See, it's a tricky game because, uh... It says the town's to the east, which it is, but you have to go north first. Okay, so let's use my... one of my poison bombs. Let's go on the assumption that I have moved far enough away from the town that I'm not going to get... This is probably a bad idea, and I'm probably going to get scorpions right now. But I'm going on the assumption that I'm not going to get scorpions. Okay, good. You're not scorpions. I do use my mana on... Oh, god damn it. Uh, I do want to use my mana on these guys because they, the hitbox detection on them, they move pretty fast and spastically, and the hitbox detection means I'm pretty much guaranteed to get hit at least once if I try to gauge them. And if they hit me once, they do like almost 50 HP of damage. Also, these guys, I'm not sure if I'm better off. I don't know how to dodge that tongue thing they have. Well, at least they don't do a horrible amount of damage, so maybe it's not a big deal if I don't dodge it. Okay, so now I have another decision. I have an up east or a down east. One's probably a dead end. I think I'm going to go up east. Because it's a longer walk to get there, so that means it's probably the more correct path. Oh, hey, I remember these guys. I don't remember how to kill them. I need to be uh, a little bit cautious with my mana. I do have more mana than I did before, but... Um, I'm quite away from a level up, so... I should actually save the mana for these guys, but I also don't know how those uh, tongue guys work. I assume in the playtesting of the game they ensure that all these enemies can be killed without being hit, but, you know, who even knows? I do have a couple medicines, too, so... Uh, excuse me, just taking a sip of coffee there. Okay. Oh, it looks like either path would have taken me to the same destination, so it doesn't matter. Now I can go further east. My anti-poison strategy seems to be working in that I'm not poisoned still, and I haven't seen any scorpions. Yeah, these guys always just kind of hit you a couple times. Their tongues are too fast. Like, their tongues keep up with me faster than I can walk around them. Like, they must have thought that was winnable, but I don't understand how. Let's, uh... Sangua a bit. 349. Let's go ahead and Sangua again. Let's, um... Now, if I remember, uh... I'm... A couple screens to my right, I'll find the cave that they were talking about. And then, once I made it to the cave, I wasn't able to continue making it to the, um, to the town. Damn it! Don't hit me! Uh, I wasn't able to make it to the town, which they specifically say is east of the cave, but you should not enter the cave until after you've gone to the town. You know how it is. Wait, did I get hit by that guy just because it spawned in the middle of me? In the initial spawn? Not even them teleport moving? Come on, game. That's bullshit and you know it. Seriously, I don't understand why they didn't put more effort into that battle screen. Because you spend like half the game in this goddamn battle screen and it has so many problems. Like, like no one at Sega was like, hey, hey guys, this is a, a pretty okay game, like, overworld and quest-wise, but um, your battles, guys. If you're going to do those uh, those little 2.5D battles, we need to talk about how to fix that. Your hitboxes are way off. Some of the monsters have really unfair attacks that are impossible to dodge or just damage the enemy. It's really, let's talk about this. Let's fix this. Let's spend a month just working that battle screen. Let's get it all sorted out before we release this game to the naive game-buying public. And then the response was, fuck you. And then they're like, okay, well, you know, we don't really care that much, so go ahead. That's my little imaginary dialogue uh, with the uh, Swords of Vermilion uh, authors. By the way, Vermilion has one L in it. Um, I always spelled it wrong. So, V-E-R-M-I-L-I-O-N. And 
Uh, I think my YouTube videos had it spelled with two L's because I am a rational, logical person who would spell it that way. But it doesn't have two L's, it has one L. Okay, come on. To be fair to the game, it does explicitly tell you it is a long way to the next town. So I can't really complain that much that it's, you know, a long way to the next town. Oh, hey, I accidentally killed both of them because it teleported into my sword. Great. So now, is this the is this the cave that they were talking about, I wonder? Hey, it's giving me easy encounters. Keep giving me easy encounters, game. I like those. That might be the halfway to the other town cave. Um, if it is, that's good. I wonder if there's a way to increase your mana. Like, if I can make, like, a mage character by using some item or something. Oh, maybe if I use the magic shield. It didn't even occur to me. I don't have it equipped. I don't know exactly what it does. And like I said, I haven't read the manual. And there's no, like, in-game text to describe it. I wonder if the magic shield maybe helps you get more magic or makes your spells cost less or shields you against magic attacks, which is most likely, but, you know, it could do any of those things. I really don't know. Yeah, these guys are only dangerous when there's a lot of them, and even then it's only just because they're going to teleport on top of you, and the game doesn't do anything to prevent that from happening. Okay, so uh, east of that cave is another maze that we have to now proceed through. Um, unfortunately, it has the yellow bricks walls instead of the tree walls. So it's quite po Stop hitting me, you idiot. You spawned in the middle of me. That's not fair. Um, anyway, so it's quite possible that I'm going to get scorpions again, but let's hope I don't. I'm not going to explore any of those dead ends. I want to make it... Uh, oh, a black slime. That's new. I want to make it as... Um, as few moves as possible because fewer moves means fewer random encounters. That's how it works, right? Go ahead and uh, use a Sangua. There's no point uh, waiting until my health is all the way to zero before using it, you know? Well, I guess there is. I could, in theory, get a drop from one of these enemies that will give me a healing, you know, uh, uh, that'll give me a heal potion. But the enemies drop very rarely do they drop anything. That's another suggestion for the makes of this game is have enemies drop shit. Come on. I'm fighting a million enemies every second, and they don't drop shit. Also, these black slimes do a lot more damage. And they're very fast and spastic. All the enemies in this game are spastic. They might all have the same movement code. Okay, I think this is where I died last time. I vaguely remember seeing this screen. Vaguely. Very vaguely remember seeing it. So I think this might be where I died last time. And yeah, those black slimes are... This, that's something else, aren't they? Uh, gotta be careful with those black slimes. How many, uh, I think I have three or four medicines. Oh, man. And of course it always gives you the group of seven or eight instead of the group of, like, one. Oh, that was good. I think I only got hit once that time. Oh, hey, I'm not too far off from a level up. Actually, I might get saved by a level up. I accidentally cast a spell by spazzing on my controller there. That's great. Um, I might get saved by a level up here. Let's see. Oh, hey. It's another dude. Greetings. Off to combat evil. Well, good luck. Um, really? That's all he says? Do you have, like... I know. Can I take something from him? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, hey, it's the town. I found it. Turn the wrong way. I'm almost there. Yes! I don't even give a shit about you blue-eyed wizards. I'm almost to the town, unless you guys kill me, in which case I'll be really pissed. No, they're not that threatening. Almost to the town! Oh, more wizards. Okay, well, the wizards are gonna try to obstruct my view here, but I'm... Oh, just one. That guy was a strangler. He's supposed to be with the last group. He's like, hey, guys, wait up! They're like, no, the hero's coming. He's like, no, wait, wait, I'm not ready yet. Uh, is this the same Medusa, or is this a... Is pink-haired Medusa's different? I don't care. I'm four squares away, but I'm still gonna use my Sangua, because the game is so cruel, it would probably kill me literally on the doorstep of the goddamn town. And, uh, that would really make me angry. So let's, uh, get some hit points. 
Oh good, it didn't. Hey buddy. This is Stowe! Yay, I found Stowe, everyone! Let's stay at the inn. And it has the cool Stowe music. I mean the cool da 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 music. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm enjoying a well-deserved rest. Let me drink some coffee here. I have 14,000 Kims. I hope this town has a store and I can buy some upgraded weapons. Hey, look, a knight. Let's talk to him. What's your deal, buddy? Are you an enemy, by the way? I must have dozed off. Um, useful? Okay. I'm glad you're here to tell me these things. Uh, this is the part of the game where you just kind of explore the town, talk to everyone. So, uh, I'll be doing that. Oh, I also want to hit that hit that church and save. I think it's to the left, right? Yes. And again, everyone in all in this game has that green splotch on their face. I think they were I think they were attempting some kind of um, lighting effect. But it just Looks like a green splotch on the emulator. I, I, I was curious as to what this would look like on a CRT, but it still seems like a CRT would show green splotch on the face, honestly. Uh, were they like, oh, hey, if you mix green and pink, it kind of looks more like a flesh tone? Is that what they were going for? Or is this just a city full of, uh, of weird mutants who have green splotches on their faces? I mean, maybe that's just the way it is. Okay, you guys are all very busy. So either they're all filler or this is a quest and everyone in this town is going to be very... We're po okay, I think that was a joke. He says we're too busy to talk, but we're polite. That's very funny. It's hilarious because, see, they all said they were too busy. Did you get it? And, uh, but at least they're polite. It's, it's hilarious. I'm laughing. Okay, um, let's get out of this stupid building. By the way, that interior does not match the exterior even remotely. I guess it kind of does. Talk with this dude, Wilfred Brimley. The Ring of Fire is found in our land, okay? I bet it's in that cave to the west that I bypassed to get here, but they specifically told me to bypass. Our king detests evil. Okay, oh good, uh, item store. Or I mean, that's the fortune teller. Um, yeah, I would. How do I say yes? Yes. Okay, well, I can't say yes. Everyone in this town is too busy to talk. I don't I don't think I need to go to the fortune teller. I have I have a clear goal. That cave to the west is a clear goal, so I don't need to go to the fortune teller and ask about it. Let's see if this dude sells any new items. Uh a griffin wing. What do you think a griffin wing does? Hmm. Uh I had room in my inventory for a griffin wing. Oh, I must have used a poison ball. That's right. Okay, so there we go. I have a gnome stone and a griffin wing. I don't know. Are these quest items? Like, is there a quest late in the game that's like, you have to go all the way back to the first town to buy a gnome stone? Maybe I should read the manual and see what these things do, if they're even in the manual, but I'm not going to do that, so... I like playing this game that they never intended to be played blind. Bl oh, hey, new spells. Let's see if I have new spells I can buy. Give me a new spell. What are you doing with your hands there? Oh, are you tapping your watch? Like, hey, hurry up, buddy. That's what she's doing. Uh, oh, hey, these are, uh, I think Volti I already have, but I don't have Copperos or Arrow. Let's buy both of those. Nice. Okay, now I have Copperos and Arrow. I have no idea what they do, so I'll have to try them out when I leave town. Actually, I don't even know if they're combat spells or, uh, or overworld spells at this point. Um, I'm looking for a button. Oh, wait. Is this the first clue that I can use the C command? looking for a button. I've never found anything I can seek in this game. Oops. 
Where's this guy's button? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not as bored as the little kid who would have been playing this in 1991, who literally has all the time in the world to uh, visit every single square of the... Did I heal up? I did. Okay. Every single square of the map and, uh, and literally search every single tile with that command, so... Um, Okay, our king detests evil. Have I visited all these places? Is there a weapon shop? I don't hear very well anymore. Did I miss a weapon shop? Or is there none in this town? Fortune teller church. Is there anything south of the church, maybe? Oh, that's the wall of the town. Okay, I guess I don't get any new weapons. That's, that's kind of sucky. But I did get new spells, so I guess I can't complain about that. I guess I can't complain about getting new spells. Uh, a child running away in the castle window. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what that means. Button guy. Okay, well. Let's visit the king. It's quite the castle here. Let's talk to, uh... Uh... Cardinal... Cardinal Green Nose here. Oh, he's also busy. Everyone's busy. What's the, what's the deal with this little pathway to the left of the... Oh, you have to go through a maze to get to the king. I see. That makes sense? Question mark? Hey, king, did your little girl run away? He's also busy. Who isn't busy? Oh, there's a guy on the right there I haven't talked to yet. By the way, I like the art on these little um, mustachioed... Uh, cow skull shield things and the lion, lion one too whoever did that pixel art it's a pretty good job especially since they were only working with about four grayscale colors in red it looks like um the background art only has about yeah it looks like it's just grayscale and red it doesn't have like um the sprite colors everyone's busy in this damn town is it because that button's missing are they all looking for the button okay well do i continue talking to people did i miss anyone were there any buildings I didn't go into? I didn't go into the fortune teller's building. I guess I could talk to the fortune teller. I have plenty of money. Yeah, yeah, I know he's a good man who detests evil, but tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. Fuck your button. Fuck you and your button, buddy. Screw your button. Screw it. Alright, the kid... Okay, kid was running away. We know that. Um, all of these buildings are shops. There weren't any, like, houses that had doors that I could go in, right? Yeah, they're all shops. Uh, okay, well, let's spend a few bucks in the fortune teller. Wait, wait, wait. Kid went missing, and here's a kid. Would you like to play a game? Yes, but how do I do it? How do I play the game? Hmm. Why is everyone so busy to talk? Did they get lazy? Instead of putting in flavor text, they just wrote too busy to talk. This, uh, this land of Stowe is also known as the Lazy Land, where uh, everyone's too lazy to, uh, where the developers are too lazy to fill in. Okay, how much does it? Oh, 50 bucks. That's nothing. A pretty girl turned into a horrible monster. Okay. Is it this little girl? Okay, well, that's not getting me anywhere. Let's uh, let's go ahead and save, and let's try that cave to the west and see what's in there. I think I'm good to go on the cave. I have medicines. I have uh, lanterns. Um, I think I'm actually relatively close to a level up, honestly. So I should be... Hang on, let me just check real quick. Yeah, I'm very close to level up. Okay, so I should be in good shape to go to that cave. I mean, caves have new enemies, so maybe I'll get my butt kicked, but hopefully. This town, no one explicitly tells you to go in the cave, though. I find that weird. Unless I, unless I miss someone to talk to. I mean, maybe I miss someone to talk to. I don't know. Okay. Medusas? Oh, wait. I should try my new spells. a spell um Copperos. okay 
find out what Copperos does. Okay, wizard, I'm gonna Copperos you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, it makes fireballs. I mean, it was kind of a waste to use on a wizard, but... There we go. Where's my level up? Oh, I have still have about 2,500 to go. Okay. Oh, wait. I wonder if Copros is the best spell for these guys. Oh, it's a fireball, and when it hits the enemy... Oops. Oh, I kind of fled, but whatever. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so Copperos is a... Wait, hang on. Let's, um... Let's try the other one. It was called Arrow. Okay. I assume this is like a wind spell. Um, I don't know what it did. I mean, the enemy died, so good. I'll have to fire it horizontally to see what kind of projectile it has. Try that again, arrow. Oh, it's a boomerang? Uh, that's not as exciting as the fireball one. I like the fireball one better. Damn it. Also, arrow uses a lot. I hope it does a lot of DPS. I mean, it's hard to tell since it killed those guys in one hit, but it costs a hell of a, hell of a lot of mana. Although maybe I should stick with arrow. Let's stick with arrow and just be more judicious about when I use spells. Plus, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my mana reset when I level up anyway. So. Eight of those guys actually do a decent amount of damage, don't they? Okay, so the first thing we need to do in here is item and lantern. And then it always spawns you facing the exit. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and Sangua a little bit here. Now keep in mind, I also have um, oops, damn it. Oh, good, it doesn't let me waste my mana on it. Um, I also have uh, like three or four medicines I can use. But also keep in mind that dungeons have different enemies. So let's go ahead and follow the left wall for now. Like this guy. What is he? Some kind of Cyclops? What kind of Cyclops? Okay, let's try my... Whoops, let's try my Boomerang on him. Oh, wow. They take Boomerang, too. Wow. Okay, these guys have a shitload of hit points. They don't have any different movement than the other, like, idiot enemies that just run around like morons. They're just, like, tougher to kill. And, of course, the hitbox is your true enemy, for always. Damn it. Wow, okay, that those guys take a lot of it. Thank God. I was about to say, I hope I get my level up after that, because I'm... Okay. 140,000 is my next level up. Good. That saved me having to uh, cast a heal. Like, eight heal spells needs up all my mana. And I don't have the uh, map, of course, so I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. Oh, poison mushrooms. Okay. These guys I've fought before. I think they just have more hit points. And I think they poison, too. I wonder if I should be just running from these. You know, strategically, like, is there a point to fighting all these guys? Because you can retreat from battles. Yeah, of course, I'm poisoned, I know. I expected that game. Well, since I am poisoned. Let's heal a little bit. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to win this dungeon on the first try, the way things are going here, but, um, give it a go. It's really frustrating that I haven't... Oops, I think I went the wrong way. Wasn't I supposed to be left falling? Well, whatever. I tried to keep a mental map. Oh, uh, I was about to say, does this guy forget to fire projectiles? Is that the deal? Um... Oh, eight different mushrooms. They have way more hit points, too. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. My main thing is I want to find the map. Oh, God, more of these guys, these Cyclopses. Please be only a couple of them. Oh, good, just one. I can't believe this town doesn't have any new weapons to buy, either. Which means those guys are going to be hard to kill. Well, I guess presumably since my level up, I do a little more damage. I don't know. Did I just go back to the entrance now? It's a dead end, but there's no chest in it. Let's. Oh, the entrance is right ahead of me. I see it there. I'm gonna sangle up. I really wish there was a quicker way to cast spells. There's a whole like. The Genesis has three buttons, and this this worldview only uses two of them. And one of them just is the menu button. That always is the menu button. Wait, what is, why, why did you stop moving? Why do all of these mushrooms have completely different behaviors? They all look identical, but they have different behaviors. It's confusing. Okay, well, whatever. Um, I think I just looped around the entire dungeon without... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, please, please, please be a map. Money, I don't want money. 50 bucks. What am I going to do with money, game? Money is kind of useless if I don't have a weapon store. Plus, there's a good chance I'm going to lose half of it by dying before I finish this dungeon. Okay, these are the easy mushrooms. The mushrooms who just kind of wander towards you and then kind of forget what they were doing. <laughs> That's our attack. They're senile mushrooms. Senile mushrooms, yes. That's the enemy. Senile mushrooms. Okay. Uh, did I, I think, north is where I came from? No, wait, that's where I'm going. I'm totally lost in these goddamn dun- I'm already lost. I didn't take notes or anything, so. Oh, come on, game! Come on, you can't spawn me in the goddamn middle of his attack! What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? Seriously, game, what the fuck? You're just stealing health from me! How was I supposed to dodge that shit? Also, there better be a chest after these mushrooms are dead. Oh, wow, they're covering each other. Oh, good, I can kill them simultaneously. And there's no chest, of course. Um, damn it. Let's go ahead and uh, cast a Sangoy here. Uh, nah, I won't cast another one. I should kind of try to conserve my mana. Okay, senile mushrooms, good. The thing is, uh, I mean, the enemies that poison you are one thing, but the problem with poison is that you're kind of an idiot if you actually cure it. Because you're just going to get poisoned in the next random fight anyway. Like, except for in very specific circumstances, like that place where the scorpions... Like, I knew that once I got past that screen, the scorpions wouldn't appear anymore. That's like the only place where, where actually holding poison balm makes sense. And I don't know what they were thinking in this game with the whole poison thing. Oh, I found the ladder down, even though I don't have uh, the map. But, okay, whatever. Uh, there's a chance I can complete it without the map, so why not? Let's try it. I'm trying to keep my hit points up in case I meet more of those, um, these guys, Cyclops guys. By the way, these Cyclops guys are, like, literally a foot tall, so they're really not that dangerous game. I mean, you couldn't have drawn the sprite a little bigger. Come on. Look how tiny they are. I mean, it's almost comical how small all these enemies are in the dungeon. Assuming the dungeon height is like human height. Like it has 10 foot ceilings. These are comically tiny monsters. It doesn't fire when you want it to.
Also, notice when my uh, my guy disappears off the map when the menus are open. That's kind of a weird bug. Wait a sec. I'm going the wrong way. Ah, oh, more Cyclopses. What was my level up? 140,000, I think? And of course, the big challenge here is to position yourself in your hitbox, so you're hitting him, and they're not just randomly hitting you with their ass, apparently, I guess is how that happens. And notice how these guys only, they only walk half the time, and the other half they slide, like the, the game can't figure out what to do with them. They're really, this, that battle mode has so many problems. It, it actually surprises me that they didn't wait, like they didn't spend another month to start working on that. I mean, it really has, that's really the, by far, the weakest part of the game, but it's also the part of the game you spend most of your time in. It's strange to me. I mean, I guess you spend most of your time in this map view, but you know what I mean. Uh, left, left. It's gonna be a dead end, but hopefully there's a map. Okay, open. Skeleton armor. Okay. Do you think that's, uh, cursed? Now the question is, do I wear skeleton armor now, or do I wait, I wait until I'm back in town? If it's cursed, I could be effed, but... Let's try it. Okay, I got skeleton armor on. Actually, let's just, uh, let's just quick, like, see if it is cursed. Because if it's cursed, it won't let me remove it. No, it's not cursed. Okay, good. Okay, skeleton armor it is. Why not? I am wearing skeleton armor. Hopefully it's, like, good against, uh, Cyclopses. I don't need to worry about the senile mushrooms. For some reason, these senile mushrooms have the best, like, hitbox in the game. Like, I can actually predict where my sword's gonna hit them and where it's not. I, although it helps that they don't, they don't move much. I mean, they move really slowly. Well, okay, I said that, and then, and then I failed to do it. Um, it helps that they move really slowly and, uh, are senile. Okay, uh, did I come from the north? Yeah, I, no, wait, I went left. No, no, I need to go south. Okay. Wow, um... Oh, these are the heat sinking, heat seeking poison, poison, ah, heat seeking poison spores. Let's sangua up. Let's do another sangua. Even though I have skeleton armor, which I am not 100% sure is better than crystal armor, because it doesn't seem like it should be, but doesn't mean I want to, uh... unprepared if I meet tiny cyclops again. Tiny mushrooms I'm okay with though. Especially the senile version of the mushrooms where they just kind of move towards you and then forget about you. These are the best enemy in the game, really. About the only threat these have is they can poison you, but they don't really... they aren't that threatening. Okay, there should be a dead end down here. Hopefully this is the map. Hey, I found the map. Look at that. I can see everything now. Um, I bet that the absolute top left corner is where the boss is. So, let's go that direction. Actually, maybe it's... Um, uh, well, let's go. Let's stick with my initial. Let's go with the top left corner first. And then the, the big dungeon thing underneath is easily accessible. So... That was a challenge game. Good job. The mushroom just forgets you're there, I guess. See now, mushrooms. Oh, did you notice this poison's doing two damage to me now? Instead of just one? I wonder when that started. Oh, maybe mushroom poison is more, um... It's more potent than scorpion poison. poison. And, well, slightly more threatening, then. And I can cure it, but I know that the instant I cure it, I'd get one of those heat-seeking mushrooms, and that wouldn't do any good, so. Okay, if I can beat this boss on the first try, I'm going to be so happy. Because I don't like playing this game that much. <laughs> I have a lot of people who like watching me play this game. 
inexplicably, frankly, but... Damn, I thought I dodged that. Damn it! Fucking hitboxes in this game are just demented. Okay, let's uh, Sengua up here. Because I'm thinking it's likely I'm going to have to fight a boss. Now, I do still also have um, uh, medicines. So even if I run out of uh, mana... Here, this the little girl is going to turn into a monster. Watch this. Would you like to buy a book of Sengua spells? It's only a thousand kim. Should I say yes or no? Let's say yes. When you come back, I'll try to have more neat stuff for you. Wait, you're not... Um, but... Right now, I don't have anything for you. But I already... Wait, did I just buy the spell I already had, first of all? Sanguos. Hmm. Okay, it's another healing spell, so that's good. I thought this was going to be a boss. Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed because I was all set for a boss. I, I was psyched up, game. I was all set. Okay, well, there's a couple other long-winded dead ends that are hard to get to in this dungeon, so it must be one of those dead ends. And now that I have the map, you know, I'm in good shape. Also, by the way, once you complete the dungeon, you can just die to get back to... I mean, it's obviously not the ideal way to do it, but... Uh, actually, um... I should try my griffin wing. Although, I wonder if that exits the dungeon. Should I try for a chest here? Let's see if there's a chest here. No, oh, there's an evil mushroom here. Okay, well, whatever. It's almost like a chest. I really do not mind killing senile mushrooms. This is the first enemy in the game I can really get behind. They are so fucking useless. Like the evil Dark Lord, whatever his name is in the... the What's the name of the evil kingdom in this game? Uh, Calistros or something? I can't remember, but... Yeah, he, even he is like, God damn, those mushrooms are fucking useless. Okay, Cyclopses. Cyclopses, however, these guys are kind of a challenge. It takes strategy to kill these guys. And even then, they sometimes hit you with your with their ass that you can't. And you're sitting there going, "How did they? How did he hit me with his ass?" And the answer is, I, I don't know how. They also sometimes move without moving, right? They move without like moving their legs, like they're skiing. It's great. Like even that, it's like, how did they not like decide that was a bug worth fixing? That the enemies sometimes ski. It's. What what, what were they thinking back in 1991 Japan when they made this game? Come on, guys. Quality control. Another dead end with nothing in it. Okay, well. Only uh, three more, four more dead ends to check in this entire dungeon. Uh, I assume that there's nothing useful on level one, except for the map that tells you how to get off level one. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. Sometimes those guys also forget to shoot at you. It's great. Um, where was I going? Oh, yeah, straight. God damn it, more Cyclops. Is this a, if this is a group of eight Cyclops, I might be in trouble. But if it's, if it's long, yeah, as long as it's like only four or five, they're actually not that bad. And I only have to hit them about five times before they die. It's just, I don't, I got hit by the ass once, and I'm still wary about it. I don't understand why, why he damaged me by hitting me with his ass. I really don't get that game. Well, that one turned around and got me. Like, why am I not hitting him there? Come on, move. Move. Move! There we go. It's like, maybe he's invulnerable if he's too close to the edge of the screen. Is that it? I don't get it! I don't understand those hitboxes. Oh, hey, they dropped something. What's in it? Leather armor? What the hell good is that? Okay, well, I'll take it. Leather armor was like the second city's armor. I mean, it's like, I haven't had leather armor for like a billion years. Let's try Sangoas now that I'm low on health. Oh, does it always regain all my hit points? Hell yeah! That's the best spell. Oh, I love Sanguos. Thank you, little girl, who I thought was going to turn into a monster, but then didn't. That's amazing. I love it. Okay, please. Ah, more mushrooms. Please be the boss at the end of this dead end. I'm sick of this dungeon. Oh, I was about to say, these spores don't seem to track me, but I guess they do. Not only do they track you, but they can hit you multiple times with the same spore. That doesn't seem fair. Oh, well, 
whatever. Um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna use, um... I had 24. Wait, what? Does that not take any mana? Wait, 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 wait. Did I get a spell that heals all your hit points without taking any mana? What the hell? Also, that dead end has nothing in it? Come on, game. What's going on here? Uh, is this spell, like, a curse or something? Is that a trick? Like, maybe she's actually a monster in disguise and she gave me a trick spell? Um, hmm. Maybe I should stop using it. Now I'm worried about that. Like, it, it, maybe when I cast that, all of the hit points it restores are, like, getting saved somewhere? I don't know. Did I check this dead end, by the way? I can't remember if I did, so I'll check it again. Oh, damn it. Oh, and eight of them. Oh, I was not thinking ahead here. I might actually die. I hope not, but... I'll, uh... I'm kind of curious to try this now. Okay, um... Damn it, he hit me with his- how did he hit me with his ass? How did he hit me with his ass? How is he doing ass damage, game? That one hit me too with his ass, but that might have been because I was going a little too fast while he was moving. I should only try to hit them when they're, like, still, frankly. Ass damage, come on. Where's my level up, by the way? Where am I? Oh, 140,000. Okay, never mind. Um, let's try something. Let's try my Sanguos again. Okay, yeah, again, it heals me entirely, and it only took two hit points. Or two uh, mana points. That's a crazy good spell, assuming it's not like a demon cursed spell or something. Which I'm starting to think maybe it is. Maybe the spell is a trick. I don't know. Mushroom, why aren't you taking damage? Uh, my sword passed right through you like eight times. God damn it. Okay, well, I have only two more dead ends to check, and then I've pretty much explored this entire dungeon. In fact, I have explored this entire dungeon. I think I've hit every single tile. nothing. That little girl has to be the boss. I just don't know how this works. It also has nothing. Should we go back to the little girl after I've used the spell, maybe? Maybe she'll talk to me again? I'm kind of confused. I don't know. I don't know, game. I can go back to town, too. Maybe maybe the townsfolk have something to say. I bet that little girl's the boss. I mean, she has to be the boss, right? Where else would the boss be in this dungeon except for in that upper corner? Oh, damn it, Cyclopses. Please don't be eight of them. Oh, seven of them, thanks. So much better. And I got hit by the ass. No, fuck it. Why am I fighting these guys? I'm gonna flee. Bye bye, Cyclopses. Screw you. I don't even know why I'm fighting them. Okay, just in case, let's go ahead and uh, Sanguos again. Talk to the little girl. What do you have to say to me now? Hmm. What about if I use my griffin wing? I'm just seriously... Uh, nothing happened. Okay, what if I use my... <laughs> I'm just fumbling around. I have no idea what to do. No stuff. Whoa! Oh! Um... Okay. The gnome stone teleported me outside of the dungeon. That's interesting. Let's go back to town, I guess. Is that what the gnome stone does, maybe? Maybe it's like a quick escape, like a fast travel kind of S thing. 
If so, that's actually kind of handy. Although you can also just die to get out of dungeons. This, the game will... Well, no, that's true. It would preserve your money, but you still have to walk back to town even though you're out of the dungeon. I'm not sure how useful that is, really. Okay, well... Hopefully, now that I've met the little girl, someone in town's gonna say something to me because I'm a little confused. Oh, these guys. And I don't have any spells. Oh, god damn it. I don't understand how you're supposed to hurt those guys without getting hit by their stupid tentacles. The good news is that because the <laughs> the poor uh, Sega Genesis has to render all those tentacle arms, when they appear, they only appear in groups of two. So there's that. Come on! Look at that! Come on! How do you kill these guys? What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm only like two screens away from this city. And... I don't think there's any really dangerous things here in the overworld between me and it. Oh, these are new. I haven't seen that before. Okay. They look identical to the old... Oh, this guy again. What is your deal, buddy? Why are you there? Oh, actually, these, these guys are kind of dangerous. What are the skeleton armor? I mean, is there a way to tell which armors are superior? It doesn't seem to have, like, numbers attached to any of these things, so... I do not want to die. I'm gonna go ahead and Sanguos. I really hope Sanguos is just, like, a permanent... Oh, maybe the, maybe the mana cost is proportionate to how much it heals. I just noticed it took, like, four mana that time. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and, and let's cure my poison first, and then sleep at the inn, and then talk to the king, I suppose. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. Get this goddamn poison, bitch. Yes, I have thousands of bucks. And save my game, bitch. Successful. Good. Hey, do you think I should have done Remove Curse with that Skeleton Armor? I'm kind of curious about that. It seems like Skeleton Armor ought to be something that's cursed, right? Let's just try it really quick. I mean, it honestly doesn't seem to be any worse than the Crystal Armor, maybe even better, although I wasn't really counting. Okay, yeah, Skeleton Armor's legit. It's not cursed. Okay, good to know. Skeleton armor is legit. I don't know how many cursed armors there are in this game. I found one already. You see anything new? Yeah, you don't see anything new. Um, you see anything new? No, you don't see anything new. Let's go talk to the king. Why am I talking to these idiots? I am going to talk to... Oh, wait. Let's talk to this wise man. He said he doesn't have much memory. Oh, wait. Did I go in the restaurant? I think I might have bypassed the restaurant before. There's going to be a guy in the restaurant that's like, here's an answer to all your questions. Uh, no, he's totally useless. Okay, never mind. Tentake! Useless restaurant. All he does is say you didn't come here to eat. What the hell is... What's the point of that? Okay. Did you, your button's still lost? Where'd you get that book of spells? Oh, hang on. This might be interesting. Uh, in the dungeon. Why? I can't answer him. Okay, I know that. I've already seen that. Okay, that guy to the right next to the fountain asked me about the Book of Spells, but he doesn't seem to actually give me hints. And I know there's a little girl somewhere that turns into a monster, which I've seen two little girls. Uh, oh, thanks. That's good to know, I suppose. King knows about rings. You know, a lot of people know about rings. I know about rings. Um, 
you have any questions on rings, guys, please uh, send me a Skype or uh, contact me on Steam. I will tell you all about rings. I know about them. You're the young warrior who's collecting rings. Since you are trying to rid us of a terrible evil, I'll give you my ring. Hey, that's my book, Sanguis. You're the thief. I'll take that. It's easy to proclaim your innocence, but can you prove it? I'll keep your rings to ensure you don't run off. Oh, the little girl stole the book, and now I have to go back to the dungeon and kill her. But luckily, it'll be a lot easier this time since I have the map, and I'll probably level up on the way there. Um, I think I'll do that next time. So this guy gave me... Well, in theory, he gave me his ring, but I think he also lost all the other rings. Come to think of it, you even have the face of a criminal. What? Just a second ago, you said I look... Oh, that's a joke. Oh, I get it. Haha. -ha. It's funny, because now he's changed his mind. Okay, so uh, the monster girl stole his book of spells. Now I have to go back and prove that the monster stole the spells and not me. I prove my innocence, and let's see if Button Well Man has anything new to say. Get all my rings back. Why did I just let him take my wings? Rings. Yeah, thank you. I know how to... Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you, Button Person. Okay, well, whatever. Um, am I all healed up? I believe I am. Yes. Oh, actually, I just realized that it does actually show my AC, so presumably if I take, uh, different skeleton armors. Okay, so, 369 is my AC, AC uh, my armor class right now. Let's see what happens if I put on crystal armor instead. Let's go back to stats. 355. Okay, so, yeah, the skeleton armor is indeed better. Good to know. That shield seems to actually remove some of my, um, okay, well, anyway, let's put back the, uh, platinum shield. Although, I don't know if the magic shield has some special effect. Skeleton armor. And now, next time I find an equipment shop, I can, I can sell those extra armors. Oh, shut up, you. Okay, well, anyway, let's, um... dialogues on top of each other. Okay, well, anyway, let's go back to the... Let's save. You know, everyone was too busy to talk to me, but if they just explained to me what was happening, I could have just killed the girl in the first place. Did he take the spell, by the way? Um... Or do I still have it? I'm kind of curious about that, too. He took the spell away, too. God damn it, you bastard. He took the spell. Oh, well, it was too good to be true. I knew it. Maybe if I kill the girl, he'll uh, get the spell back. I don't know. Okay, well, that's it for me. Um, let's go ahead and save in the slot. Let's see. Wow, it's been a long time since I played this, hasn't it? Like weeks. Let's go ahead and overwrite slot one. And go back to my virtual living room. And go ahead and exit game. Oh, so there you go. More Sword of Vermin. Whatever.